I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and today I have a summer special treat for you. Homemade pico de guaco. This is my version of guacamole which is really more like a combination of pico de gallo and guacamole. This is how I love it, this is how I grew up making it and I want to share it with you today. So let's go see how we make pico de guaco. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this pico de guaco together. Now, I love pico de gallo and I love guacamole. So when I make guacamole, it's really like a cross between the two. And this is always how I've made it because real guacamole in the Southwest has all of these ingredients in it and it is kind of like a cross between guacamole and pico de gallo. So what I have here is two large mashed avocados. And if you watched my video on how to choose the perfect avocado in our first episode of Pick Your Produce, then you will know that this is the avocado that we used in that video. So instead of having it go to waste, I wanted to share this with you. And the day that I'm making this, it is um, Cinco de Mayo. So, you know, it all, it all works. Mm -hmm. So two mashed avocados. And I have one cup of diced tomato. And just get everything going in here nice and even just stir it all in. I have a half a cup of chopped white onion and I have a half of a very large jalapeno so it's about two tablespoons and about four cloves of chopped you know that's probably two cloves of chopped garlic. I chopped two uh, four all at once and I did not put all of it in there so it's all good. You, of course, can leave out the jalapeno if you don't like it. You can put a little bell pepper in there. That makes it nice and fresh and gives it a little crunch. I have about two tablespoons of fresh chopped cilantro there. And I'm just going to go ahead and get this all worked in. Then I have some uh, lime juice that I squeezed earlier. We're going to go in here with this. You want to start off conservatively. You don't want your guacamole to be runny. And I am here to tell you that proper guacamole does not have mayonnaise, it does not have sour cream in it, it has avocado in it. That's what makes it creamy. I know there are a lot of people out there who make their guacamole with mayonnaise, but that is like not how you do it. And then you want to give this a healthy dose of salt because avocado, just like potato, likes quite a bit of salt. Salt and lime juice, to me, on an avocado, are simply magic. You can also add some cracked black pepper in here if you like. But for now, I think we're good to go. Okay, there you have it. Super simple. That was really simple, wasn't it? I think it was really simple. Mashed avocado and a few vegetables, and you are in guacamole heaven or pico de guaco heaven, as the case may be. I've got some organic white corn tortilla chips here and a little extra lime for garnish. If people like, they can squeeze a little extra on. Usually, where I grew up, you also have a bottle of hot sauce on the table or some extra jalapenos on the side. People can add it as they eat it. That's entirely up to you. Do you want to taste it? Okay, I have to. You have to. People want to know. Mm. I've never been delicious? a big fan, but that's good. I love good guacamole. Mm -hmm. That being said, I don't make it very often, but this is so delicious. Mm -hmm. And it really is a nice lunch with some chips or even just rolled up into a tortilla with some chopped tomato and onion additionally. It's a nice little lunch. So, thank you so much for coming by my kitchen today and watching me make this pico de guaco the way I have always made it. If you liked the video, please consider giving me a thumbs up today. And if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button and welcome. Um, so you don't miss out on any of the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope that you give this awesome pico de guaco recipe a try, whether it's for a summer party or just for yourself. I hope that if you do try it, I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. All right, we've simmered for five minutes. The chicken has taken up some of the flavors from the sauce, and I tell you, this sauce is incredible. It's just delicious. 
It's not too thick. It's not like full of cream and heaviness. It's really light and delicious. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to plate up, fix you a plate of this delicious lemon pepper, creamy lemon pepper chicken in. 